Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the MF Dividend Stocks. I'm your boy, Joe. Let's get into this. Today, we got a really good video. I love doing that pause right at the intro. I'm sorry. I thought it is topic. I looked it up. It looks like no one's really doing stuff on it. But um, this is my idea. This is my plan. This is what I was thinking about. This is partly why I started the channel. But I want to thank you guys. 26 subscribers. Always want to say 26,000. 26 is good enough for now. Let's not get too big too fast. Right, boys? But if you do like this content, please leave a like on the video. It helps me grow bigger. And if you actually like it, maybe think about subscribing. We have a lot of videos, a lot of topics. Next up, Twitter. If you want to join me there, connect with me better. I don't have a lot of followers, but ah, we'll get there. Not too worried about it. Robinhood. Robinhood's up to almost 1600 where you put some money into it. I would say maybe Monday or Tuesday you will get a video on what's going on. Because at the end of the week, there's even more money going into it. If you can see it now, you can kind of see what I did. If you know it from other videos, if not, go back and look at other videos. All right. So here, this is my plan. This is the plan, how you can retire. This is not financial advice. This is what I'm doing. This is what's working for me and I've done and I'm doing more. So, you know, do your own thing. All right, so this is a step-by-step. -step. This is from anywhere from 50 to 100K a year. This will work. If you have less, you just have to go a little slower. If you have more, you can go do this quicker. It all depends on what you want to do and how you want to get it done. And this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion, kind of like my plan. So you can take with it for what it's worth. Just watch it as entertainment. Or maybe think of your own plan. Something that you guys can follow. Because I wouldn't follow me because I'm just some random guy. Just telling you how I feel. Alright. First thing I took advantage of was my 401k. Make sure it was a match. Put up to the match. That's it. No more, no less. If you want to know more about that, leave a comment. And I'll tell you how I feel about 401ks. Why you only go to the match and no higher, no lower. All right, then put your money in a Roth IRA. Max it out every year. So you got the 401k working. If you don't have a 401k, definitely do a Roth IRA. If you have the 401k and can't afford to do a Roth IRA, to each his own, I want to do both. I'm doing a, I'm doing 6k a year, I think it is right now, in my Roth IRA. And I'm doing a company match on my 401k. And if you want to know more about that, please leave a comment. I'll try to go over that better. All right. I got those two things going and right now I'm in the pre process of paying off all debt, all credit cards. That's step three. All debts and all credit cards have to be, pay, be paid. All debts right now are gone. All I got, well, all credit card debts are gone. All I got now is my car left. So I was hoping to get that in the next six months to a year paid off if we all get back going and stuff. And I should have no problem. Do have the house, but I'm not counting the house in this step. Because with my whole plan, I don't have to worry about the house right now. Okay. So you want to save 20 to 40% for a rental. Okay. You get your credit score up because you have no debts. You pay off your cards. And there's ways to pay off debts and get a, and still have a good credit score. If you want a video on that, I'd be more than happy to do a video on that. Just leave a comment below. Like the video or something like that. And I'll, and I'll do some of these videos that are in these plans. Alright, so save 20 to 40%. If you have a lot of money and you're trying to get a decent sized house, you can probably get away with 20%. If you don't have a lot of money, try to get strive for 40. I know it's different ways, but this is how I worked it out. 20% if you're close to 100,000. Say you get a $100,000 house just to make it simple. So it's 20% down. So you have 20,000 to get down for that for that $100,000 house. The $100,000 house, you want to try to get for like 15, maybe percent off already. So when your money goes farther, then you fix the house up. The house then appraises for maybe 125, 130. So now you already have a profit. So at that point, you can either sell the house, like as a flip option, if you want to become like your own boss kind of flipping option, or you slowly can work into renting it, having it work for you, using the, using a rented property, so it can pay off itself. Maybe you take a little extra of the funds. The 40% route is to do the same thing, but it's the same exact thing, but you to get the house down farther. Say a $100,000 house, right? You put 40% on it, and it gets you into a, lowly, a lower monthly payment 
Because if your funds are tighter, you got to make sure you have more money. So then when you rent it out, you'll have a little bit of a, of a what you say, um, you'll have a little bit extra because instead of say your mortgage being $1,000 a month, maybe it'll be like $640, $650, and you can rent it out for $1,000, so you'll have extra money there. Just to kind of understand that point, why the 20% versus 40%, that's how I feel about it. I'm going for the 40% regardless of any option I want, but if you want to risk it, go with 20 I'm going with 40 so I can have more headroom on this first one, this first property. And this is kind of like being your own boss kind of thing. But you can take this out and put something in. I'll show you in a couple seconds. Step five, use all everything to pay down the house. Now, pay down all properties, what I'm saying, is that if you're in a house right now, you pay that house off. If you're renting right now, what you do is that when you buy that house, you make sure there's at least two units in that house and you live in one of the houses. And then you let the other person pay the mortgage, pretty much. It sounds kind of weird, but that's how it is. If you fix them up, make them look nice, you can get maybe a thousand bucks for each rental. You live in one of those rentals. Make sure it's like got two bedrooms, you know, bathroom or something. You can put your whole family in there. And then the other person, they're very happy with that. They pay like eleven or twelve hundred dollars a month. The mortgage is only like seven or eight because you used a forty percent thing. You put money down on it. Well, maybe if it's a little more, you'll probably get more for the house, say 1800 or something. And that'll cover your mortgage payment. So that's another good thing to look at. But that's kind of for another video. And I do know a lot about it. And my plan is to start it very soon, like within the next year or so. What I'm waiting for is to see with this crisis that's going on, if I can take advantage of the market a little bit and maybe get a house for a little bit cheaper. So then I can start that up. But um, the other thing I wanted to show you, that's like the part about like you could be your own boss. That's a, like a, not a simple way to do it, but a way to go about it. Will take a couple of years, but you can get there. You just need really a down payment and you got your 401k working for you. You got your max out like you're working your normal job during this whole time. And then when you start this, you, you get all out of your debt. You're doing this. It's like kind of like year one, year two, year three, year four. Like these things are all building. And now when you start this, you start paying off all the properties, and that might take you a couple of years to get to. But then, say when you're ready to retire, you want to be your own boss. These are some, some suggestions you could do. Because you have your 401k, you have your IRA, you have some money probably in the stock market if you're like me or like this channel like this. So the next thing is up. is like, find something that makes you happy. You can go with, like, say, the flipping houses thing, like I was saying before. If you like to build them or fix them up a little bit, maybe make ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on it, maybe thirty, depending on the house. You could be a landlord. You could start sharing your journey on YouTube or something like I'm doing. Granted, I'm not making any money and I don't know if I ever will, but if you're good, if you have more, you have a better personality than me probably, you could probably grow your channel a lot better and you can start making a little bit of money. You might not be a millionaire off YouTube, but it might be able to make a couple hundred dollars where you can help supplement your income in, in retirement where you're getting a little bit of 401k benefits, a little bit of this. And you can share your story, your life story, or give information to somebody that could use it. Um, you could do like a baking business, do like a catering business or something like that. You like to bake, you like to make cookies, something like that. You could do like just like little things like that. You can go to swamp meats and um, like lots where they sell shit, buy some stuff, sell it on eBay, or just be an eBay seller in general. Stuff like that. You can start like a woodworking business. You can do a farmer's market. Say if you retire, you got a nice little backyard. You start planting some plants, making a farmer's market, putting that together. These are just like silly suggestions. You can decide whatever you feel like doing, whatever your hobby is, maybe turn into a business and be your own boss. That's what I got out of this topic. The one good thing is like, I like the rental property thing. That's where I'm going to. These are things that seem like fun for me. Like I like YouTube. I'm, you know, baking, selling on eBay. I sold stuff on eBay before, uh, flipping houses. I don't know if I'm really down for flipping houses thing, but it is an option you can do when you're doing a rental property. If you can get a good um, a good margin or value for that property after you fix it up, it might be something you're thinking about doing. To me, I wouldn't want to kind of live that life. I wouldn't want to flip houses. Now, I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that, but you're constantly moving, constantly going. Yes, there is good money in it, but it's high risk too, you know? But on uh, farmer's market, that can be something very low risk. You can make a little money doing it or a lot of money doing it, depending on how good you do with it. You got to work hard, make the farm, plant your seeds, grow your stuff, 
start a business that could be cool woodworking it depends on like it's kind of like woodworking or crafting or knitting or anything you would like to make or do that's like like say little side hustles that you can have as you're retired and help supplement your income i thought this was pretty cool i thought it was a unique way a unique way to look at it i haven't seen anybody look at it in this way i'm pretty sure somebody has on youtube so let me not just say i'm not i don't think i'm special i just say i haven't seen it before and this is kind of like the plan that i'm going through right now uh if you guys want to see more please subscribe thank you so much for watching until next time peace please subscribe makes me sad